All right, y'all, we head into Tractor Supply with little mama. She's going to get her shots. If you didn't know it, Tractor Supply does uh, shot clinics, Pet Smart and Pet Sense. And if you can't afford to go to the vet, just saying, they do a good shot clinic there with rabies, vaccines, and everything. So Anna's going to record it to show y'all. Take your dog there and get your shots if you need them. Let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. One, two, three, four! Well, I've been calling in since I clocked in my morning. At the end of the week, I'm up, 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 about to blow. Breeze walking through the hog, it's off like a pack of wolves now. Order of a round, he drops me to where we go. Big club, crawl down, hold down, get down. Order of another round, shots. Run, get drunk, get some, have fun. Get this trouble, baby, like an a nine. Promise you, big, drink it, great, drink, sing, la 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 la, dancing machine. Been a hell of a week, and I need to go off and see. Look at all. Got to blow off some steam for a bum 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 blow up. I got to blow off some steam for a bum 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 blow up. I've been holding it in through the homework week. Now it's Saturday night and I'm about to blow. So come on down, man, play me none of them slow style. Yeah, exactly. Ladies, all right, everybody, get up and go. Welcome to the Carter Family Dog Kennel Lights. depicts the emotional stressors dogs go through when in environmental or stressful situations with color graphic sound effects and images. The girl. Rodriguez is taking Cheyenne Puppy's health seriously by getting her vaccinated against rabies, right, parvo, and other viruses. Timely vaccinations are indeed crucial for a puppy's well-being. To make sure Cheyenne doesn't miss the vaccination clinic, Rodriguez followed right. these steps. Contacted Tractor Supply Store location where she plans yes, to go for the vaccination girl. clinic. Confirm the clinic's dates and times. It's always a good idea to double check because schedules may change. I guess we have to come right here in the line. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Yes, good girl. Sit. Oh. But you already got her. Him. How you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Have you been with us before? <laughs> no. Cheyenne needs to get her rabies and her. Just one second. What's your first call? And your phone number? It's going to be 912 559 3368. 3368. Yes, good girl. And your new street address? Oh, W I C I. Okay. Here, Mama. Come on, sit. Yes, good girl. Yes, ma'am. And then your email? Yes. 35 at Yahoo? Yeah. She's so patient. What? And then what's your baby's name? Cheyenne. You did say that. You know about how old? She was born on March 27th. About six months. Yes, girl. Shepard? Yes. I do love the show. Here you go, good girl. 
Yes, this good mama. So she said pretty. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cheyenne is a great example of a well-balanced dog, and early socialization plays a crucial role in achieving this behavior. Let's delve into the importance of early socialization for dogs and what it entails. Positive exposure to various environments. Early socialization involves exposing a puppy to a wide range of environments, people, animals, and situations during their critical developmental period, which is usually between three and 14 weeks of age. This helps them become familiar with different stimuli and prevents them from becoming fearful or anxious in new situations. Behavioral development, socialization helps shape a dog's behavior and temperament. It teaches them how to react appropriately to various stimuli, reducing the likelihood of fear-based aggression or anxiety later in life. People and other dogs. Early socialization allows dogs to learn how to interact with people and other dogs. A well-socialized dog is... A well-socialized dog is more likely to be friendly, confident, and relaxed around strangers and other animals. Reduced fear and anxiety. Dogs that are properly socialized are less likely to develop fears or phobias. They are more likely to be comfortable in various settings and less likely to react aggressively out of fear. Improved communication skills. Socialization helps dogs learn to communicate effectively with both humans and other dogs. This leads to better obedience and reduces behavioral problems. Enhanced training. Well-socialized dogs are generally easier to train because they are more receptive to learning and are not overwhelmed by new experiences. Public etiquette. As in Cheyenne's case, a well-socialized dog is more likely to behave appropriately in public spaces. They won't bark excessively, lunge at people or other dogs, or hide in fear. This makes outings more enjoyable for both the dog and the owner. But if you didn't have a reaction to his previous vaccines, come here, sit, sit, good girl, yes, good girl. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she's going to be a tall girl. Yeah, good girl. No, first. Set? Yeah, that's impressive for sure. Well, she does live with a dog trainer. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of um, untrained, anxious chefs. Oh and I love gosh. a chef. All the time. I know. But train a chef. I see him. Because <laughs> that's the dog that will make you. Yeah. yeah. That... It won't to. Oh, sit. <laughs> it falls on my door. It's going to be huge. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Here you go. Yes. Yeah. Is it about the same weight Blanche was when she was six months? Or six months? Do we know her parents? The old of how how big are they? Her dad is about 120 pounds. Oh, what about her mama? She's about she just 75, weight? 80. Yeah. Which should probably be about 80. Yeah, yeah. Because she's the same weight Blanche was with my show. Yeah. She's about 80. Uh, if she gets over 75, 80 pounds, she'll be overweight. Right. So we want to keep her Unless around. Unless for some reason she's. Just well, her sister, more tall than an average shepherd her sister is about 50 pounds now. She's huge, so she took on more of her daddy's side. It's important to note that early socialization should be a positive and gradual process. Puppies should be exposed to new experiences in a controlled and safe manner, with lots of positive reinforcement and rewards for good behavior. It's also essential to follow your veterinarian's guidance on vaccinations and health precautions while socializing your puppy. By investing time and effort into early socialization, you can help your dog grow into a well-adjusted, confident, and well-behaved companion like Cheyenne. It's great to see that Cheyenne doesn't exhibit fear, anxiety, or aggression during her vaccinations. It's important for dogs to have positive experiences at the vet's office to ensure they remain calm and cooperative during future visits. Here are a few points to consider. Positive reinforcement. 
If Cheyenne remains calm during vaccinations, you can use positive reinforcement, such as treats or praise, to reward her for her good behavior. This can further reinforce her positive associations with vet visits, regular checkups. Regular vet visits are essential for your dog's health beyond just vaccinations. These visits allow your vet to monitor your dog's overall well-being and catch any health issues early. Socialization. Taking your dog to the vet's office is also a form of socialization. It exposes Cheyenne to different people and environments, helping her become more comfortable in various situations. Familiarity. As you mentioned, dogs can become accustomed to the sights, sounds, and smells of the vet's office, making future visits less stressful. This familiarity can reduce the likelihood of them developing fear or phobias related to vet clinics. Ask your vet. It's always a good idea to discuss your dog's behavior and any concerns with your vet. They can provide guidance on how to make vet visits as stress-free as possible for your furry friend. Remember that every dog is unique and their reactions to vet visits can vary. Some dogs may have a natural disposition to remain calm, while others might require more effort to make the experience positive. Consistency and positive reinforcement can go a long way in ensuring your dog feels comfortable and relaxed. It's so good, Daddy's so happy. Come on, let's go pray. All right, have a good day. Thank you. Yes, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh oh. Did I do that? Do I stick it right in here? Um, this. Okay. Can I tap it? Yes. Um, let me take a second for it to connect. I apologize. Okay. 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 Yeah, good girl. Look at you. You got our rabies. Yeah. We got our rabies shot. What? Now you get all the treats. Let's go, mama. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Uh, Ripple? Yeah, yeah, we, we need to get it for the way. <laughs> Come on, mama. You did so good, daddy. So proud of you. Look at you. You came in here like a boss. It was a, like, a, like a rail. And she didn't flip. Really? It looked, but she's like, didn't even, it didn't face her. Really? I was surprised. Like, oh my God, you didn't hear it? Uh-uh. Right there by the register? You said daddy did good with his dogs, huh? Right. There you go. Come on. Ooh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. What a hill. Right. <laughs> she walking like a uh, show dog. What? <laughs> so... She's like, uh, uh I'm not doing that. Everything's gone up. It ain't 35 no more. It's 95, 98. But we got it done, right? Come on, mama. Ah, she's a little too young to That's jump. What I said to you, uh, just not looking nowhere. She don't have no nausea. She's not throwing up. She's not all over, chewing on anything. Go from one window to another window. Right. She just she, laid there. She just laid there. That's why I was like, I look out. All right, remember I told you it's like a cake, right? No nipping. It's important to approach dog training, especially when it involves bite work, with care and safety as top priorities. Here are some general guidelines and considerations. Safety first. Always prioritize the safety of both the dog and the trainer. Using a whip to agitate or arouse a dog can be risky, and it's important to ensure that the dog is not stressed, anxious, or harmed during the training process. Professional guidance. Bite work and prey drive development should ideally be done under the guidance of a professional dog trainer or behaviorist who specializes in this type of training. They can provide valuable insights and ensure that the training is done safely and effectively. Positive reinforcement. Modern dog training methods typically emphasize positive reinforcement. Instead of using fear or intimidation, use rewards like treats, toys, or praise to encourage desired behaviors. Positive reinforcement can help build a strong bond between the trainer and the dog. Cecil, step in. There you go. Good boy. Ooh, good boy. Good boy. 
Oh, yes. Good boy. That was a good, good bite. Good boy. Right? That's a good boy. Yes. It's a good boy. Leave it. Out. 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 Gradual progression. Bite work and aggression training okay. should be introduced gradually and systematically. Start with basic obedience training and then progress to more advanced exercises if necessary. Rushing into bite work without a solid foundation can be counterproductive and risky. Proper equipment. If bite work is a part of the training, make sure you use appropriate equipment such as bite sleeves or bite suits. These tools can protect the trainer and ensure a safe and controlled environment. Observation and assessment. Regularly assess the dog's behavior and stress levels during training. If you notice signs of distress or fear, it's important to adjust the training approach and consult with a professional if needed. Positive socialization. Socialize the dog with other dogs and people in a positive and controlled manner. This helps ensure that the dog is well adjusted and able to interact safely in various situations. Brian's pocket. Oh, he's trying to get Brian's pocket. Good boy. Whoa. Yes. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Good boy. Out. Yes. That was Good it. Boy. Good boy. First yes. two bites. Good boy. Good First boy. First two bites. That's a good boy, yes. That's a good boy. Hold it right there. Yes, I want to grab that sleeve. Come here. Back up, back up. Casey. Back up. Casey, good boy. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come good on, Casey. Boy. Casey, come on. Good boy. Casey, come you on. You want to get a part of it. I know. Casey, come on. Come on, Casey. Casey, come on. Come on, Casey. Come on, Casey. Oh, see, okay. See, she loved Brian more than me, huh? Ooh. Ooh, Anna. <laughs> Ooh. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody like doing bite work. I thought you were going to drop it. Uh-uh. Can I let it go? Yeah, you can let it go. Somebody like doing bite work now, don't they? Casey is a rat terrier that is three years old. She is a very loving dog. Here are six things you didn't know about the rat terrier. One, they used to be wildly popular with farmers. In the 1910s and 1920s, the rat terrier was one of the most common farm dogs in America. They were bred specifically to eliminate common farm pests like rats and rabbits. They fell out of favor as farmers began using poison to kill rodents in the 1950s. 2. They are rat hunting champions. In 1996, a New York City resident wrote a letter to the editor of the New York Times suggesting that rat terriers were the best solution to the swarm of rats overwhelming a Brooklyn neighborhood. The author of the letter cited the legendary case of a rat terrier that cleared a barn of 2,500 rats in just seven hours. Three, they were created using at least seven breeds. Rat terriers were primarily bred by farmers who wanted to create the optimal pest hunter. Different farmers chose to use different dog breeds, so the rat terrier ended up with more than seven ingredients, including smooth fox terrier, the now extinct old English white terrier, Manchester terrier, bull terrier, whippet, Italian greyhound, and beagle. Italian greyhounds and whippets were added so rat terriers were faster and could better control the jackrabbit problem in the Midwest. Beagles were added to give the rat terriers superior pack hunting ability. Four, a rat terrier was in the Shirley Temple movies. In The Little Colonel, the adorable Shirley Temple tucks her rat terrier into bed. The film was made in the 1930s when rat terriers were still extremely popular. Five, they've made a terrific comeback. After falling out of favor for several decades, rat terriers made a huge comeback in the 90s. They gained recognition for competitions and more and more people adopted them as pets. Celebrities, Carrie Underwood have put rat terriers in the spotlight as well. Six, Lori Anderson was extremely inspired by her rat terrier. Lori Anderson, a musician and a filmmaker, made a whole documentary about her rat terrier, Lola Bell, after the beloved dog passed away. The film was called Heart of a Dog. The Telegraph called it a trance-like meditation on the love we feel for living things. Thank you for watching these interesting facts about rat terriers. They are indeed a fascinating breed with a rich history and many unique qualities. It's great to learn more about their background and the impact they've had on different aspects of culture, from farming to film. Casey is a wonderful and loving representative of this breed. If you have any more stories or questions about her or rat terriers in general, feel free to message us. And if there is a breed you would like to know more about, feel free to send a message. And we will create a video about that specific dog breed for you. Come on, Lola. Yes, you sit. Sit. Lola, sit. Good girl. Yes. Yes, down. Down. Oh, Lola. 
Hailing from the Isle of Skye in Scotland, the Skye Terrier is known for being courageous, loyal, and very intelligent. Both a working dog and a house dog, the Skye Terrier is a great companion that has a stylish and unique appearance. A favorite breed of the nobility, this little dog has a small body, but the heart of a lion. Find out if the Skye Terrier is the perfect breed for you. Characteristics of Skye Terriers so, what does a Sky Terrier look like? This breed is often described as being long, level, and low to the ground. Sky Terriers only stand between 9 to 10 inches at the shoulder. These short-legged dogs weigh 35 and 45 pounds, and females are slightly lighter than males. Sky Terriers have short, muscular legs and thickly padded feet that are ready for all kinds of terrain. They either have drop ears that hang down or prick ears that are bat-like and stand straight up. The Sky Terrier has a very distinct look thanks to its long double coat. Its long straight outer coat falls straight to the ground and covers much of the dog's face. So unless the hair is trimmed, you won't see much of your dog's eyes. The outer coat, while long, shouldn't get in the way of the dog's movement, and the hair in its eyes shouldn't block its vision. The undercoat is short and soft and sticks close to the Sky Terrier's body. Sky Terriers are a classic breed that were in their prime during Victorian England. Brave and fiercely loyal, they make great companions. Here are seven interesting facts you probably didn't know about Sky Terriers. One. Sky Terriers were bred by farmers yes. to ward off pests. Sky Terriers are known for their elegant appearance, but they were actually bred as working dogs, which had to be extremely brave and tough. Farmers bred Sky Terriers and trained them to protect their farms from pests like foxes, badgers, and otters, animals. The Sky's long, thick coat made him appear larger and more threatening and protected him from bites. Two. The breed is older than most Terrier breeds. Many Terrier breeds acquired their present appearance at some point within the last century. However, the Sky Terrier has had the same appearance for at least the last four centuries, even if it was not always called by the same name. As far back as the breed can be traced, it seems to have originated in the northwestern islands of Scotland. The name Sky was the name of the leader of those islands. 3. The breed was a famous artistic muse, Sir Edwin Landseer, a painter and sculptor known best for his lion sculptures in Trafalgar Square, produced many paintings of Sky Terriers. Landseer's artwork helped to popularize the breed in every English-speaking country during the Victorian era. 4. Skies were a necessary companion for royals. Queen Victoria's fondness for Sky Terriers was a major factor in the dog's increased popularity among the aristocracy, and they were even accepted in the royal court. During the Victorian era, duchesses apparently would be ashamed to be seen in the park without their elegant Sky Terriers. 5. Scotland's most devoted dog in history was a Sky Terrier. In the 1850s, a night watchman in Edinburgh named John Gray adopted a Sky Terrier named Bobby to keep him company during the nights. When Gray died of tuberculosis, Bobby refused to leave his master's grave. The graveyard keeper tried to evict Bobby but was unsuccessful, and so he built a makeshift shelter for Bobby next to the grave. For 14 years, Bobby never left his master's grave except to eat. When he died, a statue of Bobby was erected near the graveyard. 6. Mary Queen of Scots' Sky Terrier caused quite a scare. When Mary Queen of Scots was executed in 1587, the crowd was horrified to see her body move after the final blow of the axe. It turned out that her dog, who stayed with her the whole time she was in prison, had hidden underneath her gown for the entire ordeal. Many believe her dog was a Sky Terrier, though some claim it was a Maltese. 7. Skies are an endangered dog breed. Though the Sky Terrier was immensely popular in the Victorian era, their numbers have declined dramatically. Just 42 were registered with the UK Kennel Club in 2012. Even though their numbers are small, Skies continue to be entered in shows as formidable competitors. As recently as 2014, a Sky Terrier named Charlie won Best in Show at the AKC Yukonuba National Championship. It's wonderful to hear that Lola is a beautiful mix of the Sky Terrier with their characteristics and has a sweet, loving, and compassionate nature. Sky Terriers are known for their loyalty and affection, and it sounds like Lola is a great example of a loving companion. If you have any questions or need advice regarding Sky Terrier care or behavior, feel free to ask, and we'd be happy to assist you. Kira too. I also saw Kira yesterday. She, they were on her. I think Lexi pushed her heat. And that's where they peed at, right over there. Lola, come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. Yes, it's right here. Come on, Lola. It's right here. Come on. Come on. Come on, girlfriend. Come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, Lola. You can do it. I need you. I need you. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. It's super Lola! Lola, I can't, I'm gonna die if you don't come. Now
She's on the hop for cats. Lola, come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. Come on, Lola. Save me. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. So save me, Lola. Save me. Come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I know you're giving me high five, but you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Come on, Lola. Up. Come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. Come on. Thank you so much for tuning into our video. We really appreciate your support and we're ecstatic that you found it entertaining, engaging, educational, and informative. That's exactly what we strive to deliver in all our content. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more from us, we kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll not only be able to stay updated with all our latest Carter Family Dog Training videos, but you'll also be helping us grow our subscriber count. Your support means the world to us and it truly motivates us to keep creating valuable content for dog lovers like you. So please hit that subscribe button and be part of our amazing community. Thank you again for watching and supporting our channel.